If only there was. <laughs> Unfortunately, and one has to be sympathetic to the patients that we see, but at the same time we have to be realistic, uh, understand their problem, but at least tell them the truth. That's what a patient expects of a doctor. I always say that a salesman's job is to tell the patient what they want to hear, whereas a doctor's obligation is to tell them what they need to hear. There is no cure at the moment for male pattern hair loss. I'm very hopeful that in one of the areas of either hair cloning or gene therapy or stem cell research, that in time a cure will come about, but at the moment we can't cure somebody's male pattern hair loss. The FDA have approved two products. Um, one is a drug called finasteride, which is a tablet that's taken by mouth, and the other is minoxidil, which is the active ingredient in a product called Regain or Rogaine. These two products, in my experience, have a synergistic action between them. They enhance one another's effect, and they help over 80% of men with hair loss very effectively. If somebody, say, at the age of 19 or 20 comes into me, with male pattern hair loss and they're usually greatly troubled by it. If we put them on these treatments, over 90% of these young men will get a very positive response to the medicines. We can then bring them through that vulnerable period when their hair loss upsets them. And then when they're more mature, they're in a better position to make a decision as to accept their hair loss, cut their hair short and get on with their lives, or to have a hair transplant.